Hi, I'm David from Nine Black Alps. Hi, I'm Sam from Nine Black Alps. We just released, released an album in April called Candy for the Cat. Candy for the Clan. Um, and through Hatch Records, we recorded it in Cheshire um, in November and December and decided that we just wanted to make an album that we enjoyed again in the studio because we've been recording ourselves in basements and stuff. So we thought that was a pretty cool thing to do. Actually, hi fi sound, and it was, it's turned out really well. It's like probably my favourite album that we've done. Um, since our first one, but it's better than the first one. And then, um, yeah, it was enjoyable to do. So just wanted to be good again. <laughs> you can only work with what songs you've got, and you never know what your songs are going to sound like. If you try and write a song to be like this is going to be a certain kind of sound, it always ends up being really crap. So the best stuff you do is always the spontaneous things. So hopefully, if you're going to just be able to experiment a bit more, they might come up with something interesting and new that surprises us but until you know but everything else is just guesswork you know, it's kind of, yeah. we don't know so you know the more time you spend doing things the better it is usually so hopefully we can get more time playing some stuff and writing songs then it'll be better you always you know you you talk among yourselves and you, you say oh i'd really like it to sound like you know everyone goes like the buzzwords are you know sonic youth and you know this you know like um really um, expansive music that you can't sound like something if you, know, you you go for it and then you end up with what you've got like and usually we we attempt to do something like that and we just end up going the polar opposite and because something will Sam will bring a song in it or just that'll be a catalyst to where we go it just like goes in a completely different direction I think we're gonna try and um, practice a bit more because we've done all we've done for the past five years is either play live shows or record. So we yeah, we haven't really done any practicing as a band. So I think we're probably just going to go and hibernate and see what happens next. We live in uh, very different places. Like Sam's in York. I'm in Huddersfield, and uh, Carl and James are in uh, Manchester. So getting together is quite a, a laborious task at the moment. So just practicing is quite a luxury and it sounds silly we usually Sam turns up with songs and we just add on top of them until they, t they sound like us and um, we just want to get back to practicing again and actually enjoying music and you know just making new sounds and spending a bit more time than 10 minutes going this is how it goes and then recording straight away so that's how we've been working over the last couple of years really so we just want to uh, it sounds stupid. You want to step back and just be like a, when you first started a band. It's just fresh and new, and you, you uh, start practicing in a room, and just stupid ideas come up, and like that's we, we're getting a bit nostalgic about doing that again, really. I suppose which, it sounds stupid, but that's kind of where we want to be. Yeah, moment. we don't ever really play outside of the public eye anymore. You know, it's always gigs or recording, so it'd be nice just to do music without any consequence. Yeah, you know, we're headlining Dingwall tonight and we've not practiced. Like, we're just turning up and playing, we've not played together for Drove down six a month. hours, so, turn up, drive, sat in Morrison's car park. So, um, it, yeah, we're cool. You know, it's, it's either going to be a shambolic mess or it's going to be the best gig ever. But yeah. I, it's definitely going to be the latter. Yeah, yeah. That's it, really. So, I'm just trying to wave. Yeah, our, dr our drummer's just, just drove past, so we, we've not seen him. <laughs> do you want to, we're doing an interview to here. <laughs> we're just talking about how we don't practice anymore. Yeah. Professionals. Yeah. When you don't practice or, like, you know, take it too seriously, as in, you know, you want to put on a good show. Nobody turns up and goes, I want this to be shit. Right. Um, well, we've got, you know we've been together ten years now. We know how to play. We know how to. We know the songs inside out. It's not a case of that. It's just about enjoying it and actually, um, like, it's usually more equipment, like you know, like breaking and things like that, which you find out in practice is that something's broken. But when you get up on stage and you've not used it in two months, 
then it usually decides at the exact time when there's like 500 people in front of you to actually, like, you know, fall apart. Like, not in sound check at the actual gig. Well, that's usually the funny bit. We just kind of, like, get through that. It's just stupid. I don't know. You could, it's probably not very professional, but it's kind of funny. <laughs>